Welcome, this is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Building Your Multiplication Table, Part 1. In the last video, we looked at the animated multiplication table, and you might have noticed that the multiples of 1 are counting by 1. The multiples of 2 are counting by 2. The multiples of 3 are counting by 3, and so forth. And you can see that in both directions, counting by 1, counting by 2, counting by 3, and so forth. For this activity, you'll need a pencil and a blank piece of paper. An optional supply is a highlighter or a marker. Pause the video until you have those supplies ready. Using the pencil and paper, we're going to create a multiplication table. Please don't worry at all about drawing lines perfectly. We'll draw some lines across the paper and we'll draw some vertical lines, which will create boxes. I'll show you how to do this, but again, don't worry if your lines are not all the same. I'll give you some tips. Eventually, we'll have the lines finished and we'll fill in the numbers, but we'll take two videos to do that. So in this one, we'll finish about half of the table. In the next video, we'll finish the rest of the table. Before we draw any lines across, let me give you this tip. It helps to first draw a vertical line then use that line as a starting point for all of the horizontal lines you draw. By starting with a vertical line, the left edge will be straight. But what if the ends on the right side are too long? Or what if they are too short? You can easily adjust that. Watch as I slowly erase a bit so that these will all be the same length. I'll keep erasing so that they're the same length. Here's one that needs to be a little longer. I'll erase this one. This one needs to be longer. I'll erase this one. And if you look in the bottom left corner, I'll shorten that just a bit as well. So again, these don't need to be perfect. We can always adjust them as we go. Now it's time to draw. So make sure you have your paper and pencil ready. And now that you're ready with your paper and pencil, notice the pause button in the top right. You can pause this video at any time. So if I move too quickly or if you want more time, just click the pause button. Okay, let's begin by drawing a vertical line. And then from the top of the vertical line, we're going to draw a horizontal line. Now that we have a vertical line and a horizontal line, we're going to draw another horizontal line like this and then another vertical line like this. And again, remember that you can pause at any point. Once you've drawn these four lines, the next step is going to be to mark the multiplication symbol in this box. And then we're going to number from one through 10 across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, we can adjust those lines at the end, make them longer or shorter if we want to. The next step is going to be to draw the vertical lines between the numbers. So we'll draw one vertical line between the one and the two, another between the two and the three, another line between the three and the four, and again, pause the video if you want to, and you can also see the pattern that we're going to continue to draw vertical lines all the way to the end of the table. So I'll continue slowly, but you can pause the video. The next step is going to be to number the left side. So we'll number the left side one through 10. So one, two, three, four, five, and another quick reminder that you can pause the video, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now the final step is going to be to draw the horizontal lines between the one and the two and so forth. So we'll continue to draw horizontal lines all the way to the bottom of the chart. So when you're ready, you can pause the video and complete the lines all the way to the bottom of the chart.
Okay, now that the lines and the numbers are finished, if you have a marker or highlighter, I encourage you to highlight the factors on the top of the chart and also highlight the factors on the left side of the chart. And then we'll begin filling in the products. As we fill in the products, I'll move at a steady pace in the recording, but remember that you can push the pause button at any time. Let's fill in the multiples of one. We'll number from one through 10. Again, push the pause button whenever you want. Next, let's fill in the multiples of two. So we'll number two through 20. And reminder, you can push the pause button. Next, we'll fill in the multiples of three from three to 30. And again, you can push the pause button. Next, we'll fill in the multiples of four from four to 40. And I encourage you to push the pause button. Next, we'll fill in the multiples of five from five through 50. Again, you can push the pause button. And that is going to bring us to the end of this video. You can see that our chart is about halfway filled out. It's about halfway completed. And we'll finish the rest of the chart in the next video. This is the multiplication course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Building Your Multiplication Table, part one.